This is a replication of a spinner by a man named Theodore Pauli. Many people have been trying to get a spinny thing of some sort that will go for a long time on a little energy. This one does it better than any I've seen. This is running on two AAA batteries. The circuit is exceedingly simple. Uh, if you look up Mr. Polly with an easy spin motor, it just uses two transistors and the other things there are just all connectors. The spinner is very simple. The tough part is that coil. That coil is about a mile and a half of 46 gauge wire and it is a son of a gun to wind. Mr. Polly makes it look easy. I can assure you it is not, or at least wasn't for me. The draw on this motor is exceedingly low, which I'll show you in a minute. But I wanted to show you the pulse width of this motor. I don't know if you can tell, but that's on the 50 millisecond range. And the pulse width is about 15 milliseconds, which is almost nothing. Okay, and here is the microamp draw. You'll note that's on the 50 scale, which means the pulse is about 5, 6 microamps. A better coil than I do. I used 46 gauge wire, he used 50 gauge wire, and I'm not the coil maker he is. But the way I calculate it roughly, uh, these two batteries which are lithium on purpose uh, because of their long length of life should last probably about 20 years maybe a little more maybe a little less the as far as the batteries are concerned I think the circuit is basically off to it because <laughs> it's just such a small tiny pulse and this is the kind of thing that uh, uh, laser saver in uh, lid motor like the kind of you put a couple batteries in and then leave it alone for 20 years. I think that accomplishes a pretty good goal. I've seen some of the things, I've seen some of the things that they've made, and uh, they're really quite nice. What I like about this is the, is the simplicity of it. One coil, the transistor circuit, which by the way you can find at Mr. Pauly's uh, YouTube pages, is just two transistors. It's the regular push-pull that we've all been using, but the, the difference is he put in an ungodly amount of resistance. This particular one is using, those, those are each 22 mega-ohm resistors, so we're talking 66 mega-ohms on this thing. It seems to reduce the draw down to almost nothing, and he accomplished something that I am really thrilled that he managed to get done, because I couldn't. The spinner, however, is spinning on a sapphire bearing and I use that because I thought it would last the longest and it's suspended you can see there the magnet isn't actually touching the magnet is just holding it vertical anyway I thought you'd want to see this as I've never seen anything like it and I think it is a absolutely wonderful long-lasting toy thanks bye I forgot to mention the RPM. Uh, the RPM is about 160 on my broken meter here. 153.8 uh, RPM. It's a wonderful little thing. Thanks. Bye.